Good evening. Uh, my name is Dave Gingrich, and I am your son or daughter's either Algebra 1 teacher, Algebra 1A teacher, or pre-calculus teacher. And unfortunately, with the pandemic being the way it is, we were unable to have our back to school night. So I thought I'd make a little video and uh, just share some things with you on what your son and daughter see on a daily basis in my classes. Um, just a little background about myself. Uh, as I said, uh, my name is Dave Gingrich, and this is my 31st year at Cocalico. Uh, I've taught math the entire time. I've taught these courses the entire time. So these are, these three courses are courses that I'm very familiar with. And uh, I just want to share a few things with you uh, this evening. If you have questions, email is always the best way to reach me. Uh, Dave underscore Gingrich at Cocalico.org. I will be sure to get back to you uh, as quickly as I can. Um, so let's take a look at the courses, and I'll just maybe take you through a course and show you how they look and how I set them up in terms of Schoology. So if, if you're looking here, uh, these are the three courses that I have, Algebra 1A. I have that Block 1. I have this Block 2. And then Pre-Calculus, I have Block 4. So um, I'll just go into Pre-Calc and share a few things with you in the Pre-Calc class. Let me just get. Okay, so when we click on uh, the, the pre-calculus page and we go to it, uh, it'd be nice if we went to it. There we go. Maybe. So just a few things on, on how the course is set up. So, uh, you know, I, I like, we don't do as much uh, submitting of material this year as we did last year. Um, we did a lot of submissions, so I like when they scan. Uh, this is a video on how you scan using an iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, you can use your computer, you can use uh, an iPad, you can use some other devices. But when, when, a, when a student sends something to me, if it is in a PDF file, it just makes it so much easier to look at. Uh, it's easier to go through than a JPEG. JPEGs, they have to go page one, page two. It just takes a long time and it's not very, it's not very easy to work through. But a PDF file, it's very easy to work through. So just a few things. Uh, I had a first day uh, folder, and you know your, your kid can take a look at that. I had that in all three of my classes. Um, always have a weekly folder. I'll explain what that means. And then in terms of pre-calculus, we started with the appendix chapter. We did chapter P. We're currently on chapter 1. So just a few things um, like... Pre-calc is a little bit different in that when I give a first day, okay, one of the things, and all classes have a syllabus, you can check that out, but I have a homework sheet in, in the pre-calculus folder. That is not the case in the Algebra 1 and Algebra 1A, okay? But for pre-calc, they know up front what their assignments are going to be throughout uh, the, the course, let me go to another folder and just show you a little bit about that. Yeah, maybe. So if we go to, you know, and what I encourage the kids to do is to do this. All right. Let's go weekly. Let's click on the weekly. And we're down here the week of October 11th. So, and again, this is set up a little bit differently. Your kids will not see this. This is from my commute, uh, computer. And of course, it, it is unpublished right now. But here goes. So if I click on this, and again, these were things that I used last year that I'm not necessarily using this year. But I always tell them, look, go to the plan of the week. Okay, Sunday afternoon, Monday morning, whatever, go to the plan, and let's just check to see what the plan is this week. So the plan this week in pre-calc, and like I said, it doesn't matter if it's pre-calc, the algebras, whatever it is, they'll always have a plan of the week. Now I said, uh, here is our plan, okay? So we're going to work on that lesson tomorrow. On Wednesday, we're working on that. We're going to do a review. There is a submission here, homework. PDF, okay, PDF, and then their chapter one test is going to be on Friday, okay? So anytime you can ask your son or daughter, hey, let's check out the plan of the week and see what's going on. 
I, I don't, I, I'm a big believer in communication. So I think communication is a two way street. I, I will always do my best to let your son or daughter know, hey, no, no surprises. This is what you have this week. Let's plan accordingly. Let's be prepared. Okay. So um, just go into, so that's the plan. And now if we go into, let's go in and look at what a folder looks like. So if I go to the chapter one folder and I click on, it's getting a little crazy here on me. Click on chapter one. And as you can see, this is how chapter one is organized. So there's a folder for each of the lessons. There's a review folder. And I always tell them uh, in all my classes, whatever review I give you, it's a hint, hint, hint. The review is very similar to the test. Okay, so, you know, this review in here will be very similar to the test. And I have homework answers for everything. Okay, pre-count more than the algebras. On the algebras, Okay, if I go over here and give you a little view of my classroom, you can see with the algebras, I post everything. Okay, so it's posted on the front board. I say, look, take a picture of it. Uh, when we're doing our work, let's just make sure we're doing it right. Check your answers. Check my work. Okay, so again, if I'm going to give homework and I, and I try to... Be careful on how much homework I do give, more in the pre-calcs than the others. Uh, the Algebra 1 and the Algebra 1A, they can get a lot of that done in class. But I, I don't want them just doing work for the sake of doing work. I want them to practice skills that are going to make them better prepared to take quizzes and tests, okay, to assess in a positive way. And that's why I always post answers. And I post answers here. Uh, you know, just because I, I don't want them spending 15 minutes doing homework if they're going to get everything wrong. Like, let's check our work as we go along. So I said to, tomorrow we're going to be looking at section 1.6. And here's what 1.6 looks like. Okay, so there's a note sheet right here to, called transformations. And then I have video notes part one and video notes part two. Video notes are me actually teaching the lesson. So... Uh, you know, the, if kids are in, in the building, that's great. If they're sick, this is what I would refer to. If they're stuck, if, if what they see in class, they go home and, ah, I can't. They got videos, uh, you know, of me teaching the material and hopefully doing a good job of ex, uh, explaining, uh, you know, some of the, some of the uh, intricacies of, of what we're doing in, in class. But, you know, that, that's kind of how... Uh, I roll in class. Uh, I usually do a warm up, uh, go over homework if they have homework questions. I teach a, a new section, and again, I, these videos here, and this this involves all classes. In all classes, I have videos in uh, for every lesson, and I, I want to make sure that kids understand if they do get stuck, you have videos. If you get stuck and the videos don't help. I'm here before school every morning at 7 a.m. They can always come in and get extra help. I have academic support after school on Thursdays. I know Mr. Burtz has it on Wednesdays. So we're here uh, to take care of your kids. And, you know, we, we want them to have the best possible experience uh, in our math classes as we can. Look, math, math is not everyone's favorite subject. I realize that. But, you know, I'm... I think my goal is to give them a good experience, and you know, if, if they're good at math, I'm going to make them great at math. If they're average at math, I'm going to make them good. If they're not very good at math, you know, my goal is to make them better. So, uh, you know, if you have any questions, please reach out to me via email. Um, you need to talk in person. Give me a phone call. Call the school, and I'll I'll return your phone call. So, thank you, and have a great night.